What's up everybody? So I thought this week I would finally give you the Q&A video that I promised about two months ago. <laughs> Better late than never. I've taken several questions. I've written them down here on a piece of paper. I'm going to answer them for you so you can get to know me a little bit better. I don't really talk about myself in videos. We just shoot and have fun. Before we get started, I want to let you know that my new website is up and running, KentuckyBallistics.com. There's a link in the description down below and is now super easy to get your Kentucky Ballistics clothing. I've got new designs coming and you're really going to like them. Next week, I'm going to be announcing a giveaway to celebrate the new website. I'm going to be giving away shirts, memorabilia, stickers, all kinds of stuff, and it's going to be super easy to enter. All you're going to have to do is enter your email address, and that's it. I'm actually going to go ahead and put that link in the description down below. You can go ahead and get entered for the giveaway if you want to. If not, I'll be announcing it next week, and you can enter then. So now, let's get started and answer some of these questions. So the first question I want to answer, and it gets asked all the time, is, was I in the military? No, I was never in the military. I am in law enforcement. I've been in law enforcement for quite a while, but no, I was never in the military. Are you married? Yes, I am married. I'm happily married. Are you actually from Kentucky? Yes, I am from Kentucky. I was born here, raised here, and I currently live in Kentucky. What sports did you play? I really didn't play a lot of sports in school. I played a little bit of football and that was it. I got into bodybuilding and powerlifting and then that's pretty much all I did and that's pretty much all I do now. And that leads to the next question. How much do you bench press? Right now my current max is 405. Marvel or DC? I like both, but I'm more of a Marvel fan. What was your first gun? Well, I got into guns a little bit later in life, so my first gun isn't your typical first gun. My dad got me an SKS, and my first pistol was a Ruger P89 9mm. What made you want to start a YouTube channel? Well, I used to watch a lot of YouTube. I used to watch a lot of gun content. I thought it looked like a lot of fun, and one day I just decided I was going to start filming videos. My first video was absolutely awful, but I just kept filming, and now here we are. What video did you have the most fun making? By far, the most fun I've ever had filming was the XL18 flamethrower video. I don't think anything's going to top that. When I got to light that 20-foot inflatable on fire, <laughs> that was the coolest thing ever. How long have you had your YouTube channel? I've had my YouTube channel for about three years. The first year, I was just kind of goofing around, and then about two years ago, I really started trying to make the channel grow. What is that sound in the background when you shoot? So you'll notice in some of my videos, you will hear what sounds like someone laughing in the background when I shoot. Those are actually chickens. And at one point, I had over 40 chickens roaming around. So when I would shoot, they would make a lot of noise. I don't have that many anymore. I gave a lot of them away. I've got like eight chickens left now. Do you hunt? And if you do hunt, what do you hunt with? I deer hunt, and that's about the only hunting I do, and most of the time I just take a bolt action rifle. If you could have any gun in the world, what would it be? That's easy. I would take a minigun. <laughs> why does the tactical T-Rex hate you so much? I, I don't know. I don't know why he hates me so much, but he does. He really hates me a lot. <laughs> How much do your neighbors hate you? <laughs> well, I'm sure some of them don't like the gunfire very much, but I don't get very many complaints. What is your favorite gun? Seriously, my favorite gun is my 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. I'll never forget the first time I saw one. I wanted that gun so bad, I lusted after it so badly, and when I finally got it, I was so happy, and I've just fallen in love with it. I really like my Desert Eagle now, and the 4570 revolver. Maybe one day they will take the top spot, but I don't know. What is your concealed carry? I conceal carry a lot of different guns. It really just depends on how I'm feeling that day. I may conceal carry a Glock 19, nine millimeter. I may conceal carry a 38 Special or a 357 Magnum. I mean, I have several different guns that I just kind of swap in and out. It just depends on what I want to carry that day. What is the best gun for home defense? That is easy. The best gun for home defense is a flamethrower. <laughs> Okay, let's end with this one. What weapon would you choose for the zombie apocalypse? I know what I should pick. I should pick a 22 long rifle suppressed because it's super quiet, so you're not going to attract more zombies to your location. The rifle's light, the ammunition's light and easy to carry. A 22 is pretty much all you need to take out a zombie, and you're going to be able to find that ammunition pretty much everywhere. That's probably not what I would pick, though. Most likely, I would have a flamethrower on my back with a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum in my hand, and I would cause way too much chaos. There'd be zombies running around on fire because uh, you know fire doesn't kill zombies. They're just going to be on fire now. And then I would be causing way too much noise with a 500 Magnum. I would cause way too many zombies to come to my location, and I would eventually be overwhelmed, and that would be the end of Scott. 
but it would be epic and anyone standing around watching that that would be the coolest thing they ever saw that's going to wrap up this q a video if you have any more questions that you want to ask leave them in the comment section down below and i'll try to get back to you thank you so much for supporting the channel we're at 225,000 subscribers now that is insane I know we're not peaked though, we're going to grow so much more, I've got so much coming for you this year, really excited about it. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you tomorrow for Full Auto Friday.